got a curve with equation y is equal to x to the power of 5 over 2 multiplied by the natural logarithm of x over 4. x is bigger than 0, we're told, and it crosses the x-axis at point p. Write down the coordinates of point p. So just think where it crosses the x-axis, if you had a curve, where it crosses the x-axis is where y is equal to 0. So what we're going to do for part a, we're going to say that 0 is equal to x to the power of 5 over 2, the natural logarithm of x over 4. And so we've got two things multiplied to give 0. So either x to the power of 5 over 2 is equal 0, or ln of x over 4 is equal to 0. Now, this would give me the answer x is 0. We're told x has to be bigger than 0, so I'm going to ignore this value. And we could take exponential of both sides here. So x over 4 would be e to the power of 0, which is 1. So x over 4 would be 1. So x would be 4. So this is the answer we're going to take. We're going to keep this value. OK. So it asks us for the coordinates. So state the coordinate is therefore 4, 0, as follows. Now it's going to ask us the normal to the curve at P crosses the y-axis at Q. Find the area of the triangle. Because we're talking about a normal and where it crosses axes, etc., let's find the equation of the normal. So first of all, or we've got six months, we have to find the equation of the normal. So the equation of the normal is going to be given in the formula y subtract y1 is mx subtract x1, where we need to find the following. We need to find the pair of coordinates on the normal and on the curve, and we need to find the gradient of the normal to the curve. So get the easy mark first. Um, uh, P, oh, we know the coordinates P is 4, 0. We know the coordinates of P are 4, 0. So we have our coordinates x1, y1. We just need the gradient. Now we are given that y is equal to x to the power of 5 over 2, the natural logarithm of x over 4. So we're going to differentiate this, and this is a product, u and v. So our u is x to the power of 5 over 2. So our u dashed is going to be 5 over 2, x to the 3 over 2, as follows. Our v is going to be the natural logarithm of x over 4, and our v dash is therefore going to be equal to um, 1 over x. And the reason that is true is we get the differential of x over 4, which is a quarter, divided by x over 4, and a quarter divided by x over 4 is 1 over x. Okay, Because you've got a factor of a quarter on top and bottom, which you can divide, and you get 1 over x. Okay, So therefore, um, we're going to use the product rule here. So let's use the product rule. The product rule says it's uv dash plus vu dash, which is going to be equal to uv dash. These two multiplied uh, together. So that's x to the power of 5 over 2 multiplied by 1 over x, which is x to the negative 1, plus these two multiplied together. So 5 over 2, x to the 3 over 2, multiplied by the natural logarithm of x over 4. OK, so these two multiplied together would be x to the 3 over 2 plus 5 over 2, x to the 3 over 2, the natural logarithm of x over 4. And what we can factorise out, we can factorise out a half and x to the power of 3 over 2. And we'd be left with 1 here and we'd be left with 5 ln x over 4. OK, so this here is going to be our y dash. So our dy by dx is going to be as follows, our dy by the x are all of those. OK, so there are dy by the x. Um, therefore, we want to find our dy by the x at the point uh, x is equal to 4. So dy by the x when x is equal to 4. So we're going to substitute 4 in here, so we have a half. And 4 to the power of 3 over 2. 1 plus 5 log of 4 over 4, which is 1. Now, the log of, of, of 1 is 0, so this here is just going to be uh, an, the answer 4. And what we can do is we can check at this stage in our calculator whether we've done all that working right, because our original function was this. So if we told our calculator to differentiate our original function x to the power of uh, 5 over 2 multiplied by the natural logarithm of uh, x over 4, like that, and we told it to substitute in the value x is 4, our calculator tells us that the gradient is 8. And that's what we've... Uh, that isn't what we've actually got 
in our working here. So something's wrong. This is a good opportunity to see uh, that I've made a mistake here. So this is, this would be really helpful for us. And the mistake, I can already see it here. And this is why the calculator was so useful. When I divided out by a factor of a half, this would have been one divided by half would have been a two. And that would have been a two there. And therefore, this is going to be an eight. Now, this just, I'm really glad I did that because I made a silly mistake, as you do in the exam sometime, but using the calculator helped me quickly identify that I made a mistake and not to continue making that mistake. So anyway, we've got our gradient, so let's state our equation of the line. So y subtract um, 0 is going to be equal to... Now that's the... Um, remember, that's the um, gradient of the tangent, so state that. So the gradient of the tangent is equal to 8, so the gradient we're dealing with the normal of the normal is the negative reciprocal, so negative 1 over 8. So negative 1 over 8, x subtract 4. Let's multiply everything through by the 8. So 8y is going to equal to negative x add 4. And we might combine that to say x plus 8y subtract 4 equals 0. Okay? Now, we are asked about this normal and the area of OPQ. So let's just quickly draw a picture of what's going on. Now I don't know what the curve looks like but I know P was 4, 0. So P here was 4, 0. O is obviously 0, 0, 0 and this is the find the area of the triangle OPQ is where the normal crosses. So okay so we've got some so the norm we've got some curve here um, like this and the normal to it crosses uh, the normal to this crosses that point Q and we need to find where Q is now in order to find uh, it crosses the y-axis at point Q so we're going to set x is equal to 0 for this normal so if we set x is equal to 0 then we get that 8y subtract 4 is equal to 0 so y is equal to a half Okay, so this point here, although I haven't drawn it accurately, we know this height would be a half. We know that distance is four. So if we're working out the area of this, the area of the triangle is equal to half the base, so half times four multiplied by half, which is equal to one. I'd actually drawn that curve wrong. I didn't know what it looked like, but it still helped me to picture how to work out the area of this triangle. Okay, so I've got the area of one. Lastly, the curve has a stationary point at R, find the x coordinate of R in exact form. So a stationary point happens, we should know this when, for part C, when dy by dx is equal to zero. Now we had an, uh, a representation for dy by dx, which was equal to this thing here. So we're going to state that a half, and it was uh, x to the three over two, x to the three over two, 2 plus the natural logarithm of, where is it, 5 times the natural logarithm of x over 4 is equal to 0. Okay, so we can divide everything through by half, and basically we get two things. x to the 3 over 2 is equal to 0, or 2 plus 5, the natural logarithm of x over 4 is equal to 0. Now, this we have to ignore because we've been told earlier in the question that x is going to be equal, is always positive. So this is the equation we're going to solve. So we're going to uh, subtract 2 off both sides. So 5 natural logarithm of x over 4 is equal to negative 2. We're going to divide by 5, negative 2 fifths. We're going to take exponential of both sides. So x over 4 is e to the negative 2 fifths. And we're going to multiply both sides by 4. So 4e to the negative 2 fifths. Now it asked for uh, the x coordinate in exact form. Exactly what we've got here, we've got the x coordinate 4e to the negative 2 fifths in exact form and we're done.